ATA CMS in action, three months of destroying Russian air defense in Ukraine. A few weeks after reports surfaced in the American press in mid-March that the United States was preparing to transfer new batches of ATA CMS tactical ballistic missiles to Ukraine, there was a notable uptick in missile strikes targeting Russian air defense systems in the temporarily occupied territories of eastern Ukraine and Crimea. The Militani media outlet wrote this. It is noted that in addition to air defense systems, the missiles also hit other important facilities and equipment of the Russian invaders. The first publicly known strike occurred on April the 17th when MGM-140 ATA CMS missiles targeted Russian facilities near the military airfield in Zankoy. This airfield hosts the 39th Helicopter Regiment of the 27th Mixed Aviation Division, part of the 4th Guards Air and Air Defense Forces Army of the Southern Military District, comprising three aviation squadrons. The missile strike destroyed three launchers and a radar station of the Russian S-400 Triumph Air Defense System. Following this, a second significant strike was reported at the Reception and Repair Center for military equipment of the 77th Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade in Korinovsk, Krasnodar Krai. At the time of the strike, two S-300 launchers were present at the site. Additionally, a secondary detonation of unknown ammunition occurred, causing further damage. The Russian occupiers reported casualties including both killed and wounded personnel. Satellite imagery confirmed the extensive damage to the Russian air defense systems and the airfield in Zankoy, showing the remnants of four S-400 launchers and evidence of a fire near an ammunition depot. It is worth noting that representatives of the armed forces of Ukraine or the Ukrainian government didn't make any comment on the issue. Information about these strikes came from social media, news agencies and other media, including those of the aggressor country. On the night of April the 30th, another missile attack targeted the Zankoy military airfield. Days later, satellite images revealed the destruction of an S-300 or S-400 air defense system launcher. It was not officially reported what kind of weapon was used to hit the airport, but the Occupation Administration of Crimea claimed that it was an ATA CMS tactical ballistic missile strike. The ongoing strikes have not been limited to these initial incidents. Later, the Ukrainian Defense Forces started targeting the Russian invaders' military facilities in the eastern part of Ukraine that is currently under temporary Russian occupation. On May and June, Ukraine hit the Russian army several times with ATA CMS missiles. The armed forces of Ukraine use both M142 HIMARS wheeled launchers and M270 tracked launchers to deploy ATA CMS tactical ballistic missiles. Unlike the HIMARS, which are equipped with only one missile, the M270 systems can launch two ATA CMS missiles simultaneously.